I'm Rebecca Brand, and today I'm going to show you how I professionally salon blow dry my hair at home. This is a method I've developed over the years. I was born with super frizzy, really curly, thick, thick, thick hair. So to get to the style and the sleekness and smoothness I like, I've developed a method that cuts down blow drying my hair by 50%. What you need to do this at home are some really great brushes, and I use clips. I can use these brushes for anything I want, from straightening my hair, drying it quickly, or curling it at the bottom. I'm gonna demonstrate all these different uses today. This is gonna give me a salon quality blowed out with frizz free style with shine and a lot of volume in my hair. My hair type is long, curly, frizzy, wavy. It goes from normal to coarse texture. After washing my hair, I let it air dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. I use a flat paddle brush with board bristles to detangle all my hair. As you can see, my hair is super frizzy and wavy. I would not use the round brush ever for detangling. You need a paddle brush, something flat. Using a flat paddle brush with boar bristles are for maximum control of my hair, especially because my hair is thick and coarse. That boar hair would be too soft to hold up the hair from the roots. The nylon pins have a rounded end, so it's not going to scratch my head like other brushes have. It's gentle to my scalp. The boar bristles have that natural fiber and keep the oils in my hair. Perfect structure to detangle my hair. Then with those tangles out of my hair, I take the brush and I section out my hair into about eight sections. After those clips are in, the first part I want to attack is the front. I take my medium diameter round brush for this and I want to give style to the front of my look. This is how I'm framing my face. So this is how I wrap my hair around that brush with a blow dryer on it and dry it. My blow dryer has an attachment to it to get the heat a little bit farther from my hair, but direct that heat directly on the parts I want. And sometimes I have to twist it a little bit to get it aligned the way I want on that brush. That's easy to do. And so after the first two pieces of my front is done, then I work on the bottom wet hair that you can tell right now is super wavy. And that's when I grab my large diameter round brush and I go around and around my head. And then I go around and around by my neck. And I use a paddle brush to get the last bits done, then off to the next section. The next section is going to be the crown of my head. And I take the clips down for all the middle pieces of my hair and I blow dry. I've done other styles of blow drying, but I'm telling you, my years of experience point to this being the best method. I finish up the middle sections of my hair one by one. You're supposed to keep your blow dryer oh, about five or six inches from your hair. You do not want to burn your hair. Also, you don't want to burn off the bristles of your brush or hair bristles or natural hair like your own. You don't want to burn that up. So don't get your blow dryer too hot because you will. Boar's hair is the finest of bristles for brushing hair. So I take care of mine. If I was in a really big hurry, I would only use the flat paddle brush. This is my favorite style and this is the one I do most often. So that's what I'm demonstrating. Because my hair is longer than shoulder length, I need a really big diameter round brush. I checked into blow dry brushes and I found Care Me. This brand makes all kinds of sizes and styles of brushes. The reason I'm loving this large blow dry round brush for my long hair is the center of it doesn't have any seams or anything where my hair can get stuck and pull and break. That's always been a problem with brushes in the past. Also, I love the handle. It has a really great non-slip grip and it doesn't have any place where my hair can tangle within the center of it and that always has been a problem with other brushes. The nylon bristles with the round heads are the perfect touching to my scalp and to get tight into my scalp and it has the boar hair bristles which is what's going to condition my hair. If it only had the boar hair bristles it would not hold up. It also would not capture my whole segment of hair like this one does as I blow dry. This is helping with the speed it takes for me to blow dry. By having that large brush and doing section by section the blow dry goes by fast. At my hair's long length I need the large diameter in order for the airflow to be hitting all of my hair. It also helps to straighten my hair because I want it more straight at the crown than I do at the bottom. For my method, I then get my medium sized brush and I do the ends. I blow dry those ends and I twirl it around and I hold it for a second and voila, there's a little curl. Care Me has three sizes of round brushes. So if you have shorter hair, you're gonna want the smaller sizes. To make it go even faster, I take my paddle brush that's just the nylon and that'll make it sleek for a finishing blow dry. And I play with my hands and I give it extra help styling it so I get the look just right. I like the way it turned out. Care Me has helped me with that, with these blow dry brushes. I hope you like my method of styling my hair. Take a look again at the before and the after. It's unbelievable the change. By using this method and these great hair brushes, I save 50% of that time. That had been wasted. And to clean the brushes, I just use my hands to take it out. I would not want to use any chemicals on it or any other way. And I certainly wouldn't take a comb through it. That would damage the boar's hair. We don't want that. You never should run these underwater. Not even with little flakies from your scalp. Just do that with your hands. That's good. You want your natural hair oils to be within the boar's hair bristles because over time, that's gonna give you that lustrous shine. And I love them. And they truly are the best brushes I've ever used. I'm so thankful this company makes such high quality brushes.